Hi, now I'm going to show you how we can download and install CodeBlocks IDE in your computer uh, and how we can compile and execute your program using CodeBlocks. CodeBlocks is easy to use, easy to install as well. Just go to www.codeblocks.org and slash downloads. It will take you to the download page for the CodeBlocks IDE. Here you can find the link binaries on the left hand pan. Click on these binaries under downloads and choose your operating system accordingly. You have different options here. For Mac OS, you need to go to Mac OS X. For Windows, click on these Windows options. Now, if you are in Windows, just click on this Windows link. Here there are two variations. One is the IDE only and another is the IDE along with the compiler. If you're not sure that, that whether the compiler is installed in your system or not, then just go with the second option. This MinGW is the minimum GNU for Windows. That's the C compiler that you need in order to compile your program. So that is bundled with these code blocks. You can just install this and click on this Barley OS or SourceForge.net for downloading. I'm clicking on this SourceForge and then the download will start eventually and just save the setup file and double click on that setup file and follow the steps you will have code blocks in your system so I'm not downloading this for my machine because this is Mac so I'm going for the Mac option here you can just click on this Mac OS X and this is the Mac option for code blocks so just download this magzip you'll have the archive file that contains the code block setup double click on that dmg file within this zip and follow the steps and you will have code blocks in your system for mac os uh, you need to install the compiler separately it's not bundled with this code block setup for installing the compiler i have already given another tutorial how you can uh, download and install Xcode command line tools and do that prior installing this code blocks so click on this sourceforge.net and download download code blocks for Mac the download will eventually start you need to save that zip file in your hard drive and extract and you'll find the DMG file within that just go with that follow the steps and code blocks will be installed in your system so that's how you can download and install code blocks. Now let me show you how you can compile and execute your C program from within code blocks. After installation, you'll find the code blocks icon here in the launch pad. Double click on this and the code blocks will start. So here is the code blocks IDE. From within this code blocks IDE, you can develop your program, you can edit, you can compile and you can execute from within this environment. For starting a new project, just click on File and then New and then click on Project and then find the console application here in the categories list and then double click on this, click on Next, click on C because this is a C project. If you are interested of doing C++ project, then it should be C++ and click on Next. You need to provide a title for your project, say I'm giving Hello C. And this is the project file name that .cbp is the extension for code blocks project. And this is the location where this code blocks project is going to be created. That's under my student folder, which is under my home directory. You can choose a separate directory if you wish so just by clicking on this browse button. Let me show you once more. It's there. Just click on this button here. And this will just give you the choose file dialog box and here you can choose the different location according to your need say I am choosing this C test so or I can choose any other folder according to my wish so the C code will be fine and I'm clicking on choose then click on next it's actually showing the compiler the different option of compiler by default it is taking as GNU GCC compiler because that has been installed in my Mac system with Xcode so I'm clicking on finish it's done you can see the project 
window on the left hand side and under that you have this workspace that's the project workspace containing your project and within that you have this sources node and under this the main.c is already written by code blocks so this is the main.c file that's going to print hello world that's the program that we have already compiled and executed with netbeans ide now i'm doing it with the code blocks ide so in order to compile and execute just click on this button that is the run button or you can just go to the build menu click on build menu and find this run and this is the shortcut key in windows the shortcut key could be different if you are clicking on build and run then it will first of all the program is going to be compiled and then it will be executed if you click on run for the first time it will be compiled and executed but on second and subsequent time it will not compile it will only execute the program so this is build and run going ahead with that and you can see that the program is running with this window and hello world is printed so this is the console window you can see that the console window is here and we have our output printed here so that's how you can download install and create a project with your code blocks IDE and you can and this is simple to use I will encourage all the all the students who are new to the programming world to use code blocks instead of NetBeans but I will be using NetBeans throughout my tutorial that's not a problem C will remain same as far as the syntax of C is that is independent to the interactive development environment you can use any interactive development environment according to your choice that's not a problem thank you